There are special crafts that can add a sparkle for moments with family and close friends. This is one of them. A metal sweets container for afternoon tea. This fashionable champagne cooler helps decorate a special night. The design is sophisticated and at the same time has the warmth of wood. These items were made by traditional craftspeople. Today, the younger generation artisans face the challenge of updating their creations while inheriting traditional skills to make beautiful items. Kyoto has a 1200-year history, and it's the birthplace of many of Japan's beautiful crafts. Traditional techniques used to make these appealing items have had local and global impact. We followed expert craftspeople in Kyoto who are making innovations to their creations so that they can bring change to people's daily lives. Traditional crafts are said to symbolize Japanese culture. Experts in Kyoto with various backgrounds have formed a team called Go On. They want to pass on their crafts to future generations. There are six members. Hoso Masataka specializes in Nishijin Ori silk fabrics. Yagi Takahiro creates traditional metal tea caddies. Kosuga Tatsuyuki produces bamboo crafts. Tsuji Toru produces wire mesh for cooking ware. Nakagawa Shuji is a wooden basin craftsman. And Matsubayashi Hosai is a Japanese teaware potter. They are all in their 40s and 50s. There is a reason why the six people working in their respective fields join hands.伝統産業も西洋産業で、あの、今、まあ今でこそ少し伝統工芸で少し、あの、光を当たってるもの、それも光すらも当たってなかった。そこの部分からやっぱその世の中の固定観念を壊していこうということで、ま、始めたようなプ
Almost every household in Japan once had tea caddies. The beautiful shine is all created by hand. Yagi Takahiro inherited the traditional techniques from his ancestors. He is Kaikado's sixth generation successor. Yagi relies only on the senses of his hands. The product is made with accuracy of less than 0.1 millimeters. It's crafted so that the air is kept outside, keeping the tea leaves fresh. When you place a lid on top, it slides down silently. Sales of caddies have been on a downward trend despite its beauty and delicate construction. The custom of making and drinking tea in Japan has been gradually disappearing, and the tea caddy itself has lost its luster. Yagi took over the business from his father in 2000. He wants to bring change to this situation. Yagi found one way was to sell his products overseas. He visited London with a selection of his tea caddies. He believed Londoners highly valued their teaware and therefore could understand his products. Yagi was right. Many asked where they could buy his tea caddies. They soon became a hit product in London. This experience led Yagi to make innovations so the items could be used in other ways. These non-conventional products were added to the collection. They are pasta and nut containers. This is a metal sweets container for afternoon tea. And as for this one, when you open the lid, it's a wireless speaker. Yagi's ideas have captured the hearts of many people all over the world. His tea caddy has become a part of the permanent collection at the Victoria and Albert Museum in the UK, one of the leading museums of art and design. There is a fan of Yagi's tea caddy who is fascinated with its beauty. She is Tina from Switzerland, currently living in Japan. She puts tea leaves and coffee in four caddies. I really love it because it just feels, I don't know, it just like kind of calms you down when you touch it. And then you also can feel the vacuum of the tea caddy and smell the really fresh coffee every morning which is really great because we usually grind it right before we use it and the tea caddy really um, like enhances that experience of pouring and making myself coffee as well. The traditionally crafted items made in Kyoto is helping to create an enjoyable coffee break. It brings a couple a moment of calm and an invaluable experience.
Yagi believes traditional crafts add color to everyday life. That feeling is shared by an individual whose workshop is near Kyoto, on the shores of Lake Biwa. Nakagawa Shuji is a wood craftsman. Nakagawa has been making basins using traditional techniques from 700 years ago. He assembles wooden boards without using any adhesives. The boards are assembled with no gaps. It's finished so not even a drop of water leaks out. In Japan, wooden basins were used in daily life, such as when bathing or storing miso paste. However, from the latter half of the 20th century, inexpensive plastics have replaced wooden products. Yet Nakagawa saw new possibilities in using wood. ベンディさんが気をついてするとそれこそプラスチックのお手とかの方があの便利なんかもしれないですけどねでもそのものごとには結構機能だけではなくてそれ以外のこうなんていうかな心のそのねゆとりや安らぎみたいなものも結構影響
立体構造を織り物で作ってその角度によって金の箔と銀の箔を置き換えることによって金と銀が移り変わっていくという。Innovative and beautiful fabrics interwoven with gold are being created. It all comes from Nishijinori's weaving technology. This is what was created from the fabrics. Famous brand suits and dresses debuted at the Paris Fashion Week. Gorgeous outfit makes full use of the craft skills of Kyoto. Hoso also started working on weaving technologies. He improved his loom, previously only capable of weaving fabric about 30 centimeters wide, making it possible of weaving 150 centimeters wide. This has resulted in new uses for Nishijin Ori fabric. Such as decorating walls. Hoso is continuing to seek possibilities for the fabrics using the latest science and technologies. Unorthodox materials are being developed in collaboration with universities and companies. This is a silk thread that changes color when exposed to heat. Hoso says it is necessary to think beyond conventional wisdom and actively seek new uses for crafts. The strength of the culture is that it can't be destroyed by the strength of the culture. We need to keep on trying 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 to keep on trying. The Go On members' pursuit of new possibilities in traditional crafts is gradually gaining momentum in Kyoto. Changes can be seen in this high end hotel. The main dining area uses elements of both Japanese and Western designs. This is the hotel's signature hamburger. The plate and bowl is from the Asahiyaki Pottery, a maker of traditional teaware. Potter Matsubaya Shihosai is a member of Goan and the 16th generation successor of his kiln. Asahiyaki teaware has been cherished for 400 years. All of the plates at this restaurant come from this top pottery maker in Kyoto. The Asahiyaki products are meant to add flavor to the dishes and enhance the dining experience. その古い文化とか新しい文化とかに関わらず自分が興味を持つことってないと思うんですよね心を動かすというところをまず最初にしたいなっていうのは思いますね You can also enjoy Kyoto's traditional crafts in this hotel's suite rooms This special room comes with products made by Goan members here is an asahiyaki tea bowl, along with a wooden tea container and bamboo tea ceremony tools. The hotel's general manager sees the positive effects from this collaboration. The, the members of Goon, they have this shared belief that, that they want to sort of take their craft into a modern setting or, or in, in a more, um, they, they challenge the, the status quo maybe a, a bit uh, more than others would. Um, and, and we were particularly um, sort of interested to work with such individuals that, that, um, that, that share like the, the belief at Park Hyatt that we take tradition into a modern setting, um, combining um, history, heritage and, and today's today's world. 
Goan's endeavors were just starting to bear fruit, but 2020 put a sudden damper on their efforts. Tourists disappeared from the town due to the coronavirus. The big question was how Kyoto's traditional crafts were going to be introduced globally. Members held many discussions. And they decided to use social media networks to spread the word. As a last. Oh, that's, well, please, uh, no, now you showed it. Tell us about that. That one is beautiful. That's uh, Urushi, right? Yeah, this is Urushi with the lacquer and uh, kind of the transparent Urushi. Mm. And also, this is uh, the caddy for nuts. Oh, for peanuts and stuff, right. <laughs> a Taiwanese fan of Goan products uploaded a photo of a toast made with Tsuji's mesh craft. A Finnish fan uploaded a photo and description of Kosuga's bamboo basket. Word of mouth on social media is increasing Goan fans globally. Hidea is a fan in Japan. He is an art director. He frequently posts items that adds value to his life. He often introduces new crafts made by Goan members. えっと、今の住宅もそうだし、今のいわゆる食器とか、えっと、生活するものと基本的には合うようになっているっていうのがやっぱり素晴らしい。で、その上でやっぱりかなり贅沢なものだと思うので、えっと、長く愛せるものな
These crafts have never been made before, and their uses are also new. Kosuga Tatsuyuki produces bamboo items. He introduced the culture of product maintenance. He explains restoration plays an important role in today's world. こんだけその did the guests feel the craftsman's passion behind their works? It was a fruitful experience for the Goan members and a step forward. ずっとそれは今まで一貫しているのは What would an abundant life in the world 50 to 100 years from now look like? It may come from the innovations born from challenges made by these new generation traditional craftspeople. This program was made possible by the Japan Foundation.